The Pathfinder Network creates pathways to change for justice-impacted individuals. They've been working in our community for over 20 years, and now they're celebrating the grand opening of their new building. With us today is Adele Atwood, the Adult Community Programs Manager for the Center for Family Success with the Pathfinders Network. Welcome to the show, Adele. It's great to have you here. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. So tell me a little bit, just a little overview, if you can, about the Pathfinders Network, what exactly your um, mission is or what you do. So the Pathfinder Network um, is an agency that provides support and skills and classes to folks involved with the justice system. And so that could mean um, folks that are currently incarcerated. We have programs in uh, corrections, Department of Corrections. But that could also include um, persons that are in the community that are currently on probation. And that includes uh, folks that may have an open DHS case, child welfare case. What, uh, what exactly does the Center for Family Success, what's the role that, that they play in, in the Pathfinders Network? So the Center for Family Success is our community-based portion of the Pathfinder Network. With our community programs, we actually work with parents and youth. So we provide services such as parenting classes, one-on-one -on -one early childhood home visiting. We do lots of advocacy and support. We do case management. We do peer mentoring. So for folks that are um, struggling with substance use and are involved in systems, we have um, parent partners that um, can help um, folks navigate systems to get into treatment or to um, advocate uh, during a child welfare case. I understand you recently uh, moved to a different location. Do you have the uh, address for that location? Where is that? Yes, yeah, so we're currently located, let's see, within the brand new address. We are at, on 7305 Northeast Gleason Street. Okay. Um, so on the corner of 73rd and Gleason, um, big gray building. And it's a fabulous new building. We've now um, come together with our admin portion and our community side and become one big building. And it actually is um, a better building because it's more accessible and has better spaces for our clients. So um, it's actually expanded the spaces and rooms for the families that we work with. Nice, nice. It, the room you're in right now, you're at the center, correct? It looks very bright correct. And, and welcoming. Is that, uh, yeah. what, what room is that in the, in the building? So this is one of our, our main classrooms. Um, okay. We're currently do, still doing items. So we do have like a smart board here, but we're also doing um, classes on Zoom right now that are COVID safe. But when we do come back in the classroom, this would be one of our main spaces. Great. What, so you decided to move because you wanted to merge those, the admin and the and the, uh, the Center for Family Success, is that right? Correct. We, um, we were looking for a bigger building, um, but also something that had more child-friendly spaces, um, easier access for classrooms, um, and additional classroom space. And this, uh, this building that we found actually um, encompasses all of that, so that we can have all staff on board in one building, and, um, but also a space where participants can really feel welcome, and children as well. Right. Well, that, that sounds perfect to me. I understand that you're going to have a, a ribbon cutting ceremony and a, and a grand opening. Um, tell me about that a little bit. We're pretty excited about the grand opening. Um, so our open house is going to be September 10th, 4 to 8 p.m. And we are inviting um, agency partners, providers, the public, participants, people interested in services or interested in learning more. We're going to have music, food, couple food trucks, um, probably an ice cream truck, um, prizes, raffle prizes, um, information, and tours. So you could check out the spaces, see what we do, but also maybe listen to some music, get a bite to eat, and socialize and network. That sounds really fun. You have a, a space outside yeah. you can, you know, people can hang out and congregate in, as well as coming in. We do in have building. a Yes, exactly. So we do have a large parking. It's kind of like a fenced in parking area. We're going to open that up. We'll probably throw out a tent and uh, provide the music space out there and put the food trucks out front and just kind of make it a welcoming space where, where folks can eat outside or come in and do a guided tour and see um, what does it look like to be a participant or what would it look like if you were to come for services here. So hopefully that will encourage people if they they need some help. Do you do you have people that self-refer or do they have to be referred from somewhere else? 
can people- Good question. So uh, um, persons that are justice impacted can come and self-refer. They could come okay. walk through the front door and we would um, definitely um, help sign them up or look for the appro- you know appropriate service for them. Um, so they would be, uh, p- participants would be welcome to come check us out on open, uh, open house day as well. We will have a, actually we're gonna have a peer corner where um, peer support specialists will be there with some special raffle prizes and items just for f- uh, participants. Wonderful. Is there anything else you'd like us to know about the, the Center for Family Success or Pathfinders Network or your open house before I let you go? Uh, I would just say that this is a really family-friendly space and we um, we look forward to seeing people on September, it was September 10th, yes. um, <laughs> and come and come enjoy the food and look at the spaces and, and meet us, uh, meet all the providers because we're going to be here as well. The advocates, directors, everybody across the board will be here so you can see who, you know, who works here. And what transparency the spaces look there. Like. Yeah, that sounds wonderful. Yep. <laughs> Thanks very much, Adele. I appreciate you giving us a rundown on that and we'll look forward to seeing you there. 